The final shape has brought with it the end of an era. Hey there, my name is Manstrol. If you're familiar with my YouTube channel, welcome back. If you're not, <laughs> I am sorry, but you will never ever understand the extent to which I'm angry, upset, dazed, and confused, but most importantly, sad over the new behemoth changes brought by, brought by Final Shape. Like, it's just not possible. You will never understand because I have used this class religiously. My channel is built on Behemoth. My first video that did really well, over 200,000 views, still my best video on my channel, was when I had 15,000 kills with Cryosthesia. That is a ton. That is more than anybody should have on this gun. But I was using Behemoth, and I was spamming Diamond Lances, and nobody had seen really either of these things. It was fresh. It was cool. It was really annoying for the enemies to, to get killed by. And... I have now made it the most hated rumble gun ever. But that's not the point. The point is that people follow my YouTube channel because of these cool interactions brought by Behemoth and how much of a joy it is to use. Today I have over 54,000 kills on that same weapon. That is dumb. It's just stupid. But what does matter is that I'm a Behemoth junkie and I know what I'm talking about. Let's continue. In the background, you see six Behemoth Titans spamming ice. Well, I can confidently say that is no longer possible today, and I'm not upset about that. I'm not upset at that you can't take three Behemoth Titans in Trials of Osiris and also spam ice. I'm not upset about that. This has been a thing since November 10th of 2020 with the Beyond Light expansion. It has had its time. One person in particular has definitely had enough of it. Their name starts with a G and ends with Ernator Jake. They've had more than their fun share of experience with dealing with Behemoth Titans over the years. That's all I'll say about that. And Behemoth is dead. 12.08% of players, I'm sorry, our time has come. It's over. Now, if you're not familiar with the changes, it is as bad as I, I am making it sound. Because not only can three Behemoths or two not work, not even one maxes out the potential of the brand new mechanic called frost armor you have to use an aspect you have to use an extra fragment you now have eight stacks of frost armor that you can build into but can you actually no because the max amount of shards you can generate is six 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 shards six shards in the past i used to be able to spam 22 22 shards by myself no cooldown. 22, now it's 6. Bungie said generous. What the fuck does generous mean to you? In order to prevent triple behemoth spam, they didn't prevent triple behemoth spam. They didn't prevent double behemoth spam. They prevented single behemoth spam. I do not know what to say. Somebody at Bungie on the balancing team was smoking a behemoth of a blunt. I do not know what to say. This is laughably pathetic and stupid. Do you know what happened the last time that they nerfed something from absolutely craziness to zero and nobody ever used it again? Something I haven't seen used in PvP or PvE, to be honest, since at least 2021, that was when Geomag stabilizers and Chaos Reach was a thing. You only use that subclass for one reason, and that was to get your super fast. They removed that one interaction, and the subclasses nuked into the ground, gone, never seen again, ever. And that's what Behemoth has become. My foresight is telling me that this one interaction, that 0.8% of people and other people who use Cryoclasm, which I will get into for the speed loadout of Behemoth, will no longer be able to find their joy in. And that's fine, but it's not the fact that they nerfed it into the ground, it's the fact that they led us on to believe that it would still be at least possible. They were implying that you would at least be able to generate the maximum amount of stasis shards to make maximum stacks of frost armor possible. But that's not even possible. It's not. I don't know what to say. Let's get into the cryoclasm changes. Cryoclasm is not dead, but it is more annoying because now you have to have an extra skill gap on top of the skill gap we already have, which is Cryoclasm skating. 
where now you have to manage the slide because it's no longer up to you in order to use cryoclasm. It's now based on a four second cooldown timer. If you want to slide, too bad, you have to use cryoclasm. There's no exception. If you want to use your normal slide, well, there's a chance that if you hadn't slid in over four seconds, yeah, you'll have to cryoclasm slide. So what if you want to peek a corner and then slide back into cover? Well, now you have to dump your cryoclasm into the wall so you can slide out and slide back in safely, or else you'll slide out way too far, find yourself stuck. It is no longer up to you. It is now a full send shotgun ape rush forward. Get out of spawn quick, but once you're in the battle, then you might get screwed. And all it takes is one time in an important match to get screwed enough and cost your team the entire game. So I came into final shape thinking, all right, no more cryoclasm for me. Hopefully the rest of the subclass makes up for it. And with this new change, six shards, it's not even going to make up for it. It's just not. Why would you, why would you use it when you can just put down a, a barricade on void Titan and get 45 HP to put it into perspective. Frost armor at maximum stacks, its effective HP isn't even enough to reach the levels of a Void Titan Barricade Overshield. And you can't even achieve that! It's laughable! I don't understand! I just don't understand. There are so many things changed about these stasis subclasses, but nobody wanted this. We just wanted more supers. You could have given us more supers and we would have been loving this... It would have been so great, but you had to change everything. Do you remember what else they changed everything and nobody liked? And they ended up having to change so many things, so many small things over and over. That was when they introduced Checkmate to the entire Crucible. Buff this, buff this, because it's no longer good. Buff this, buff this. Oh, this is no longer possible to three-tap with a hand cannon with explosive payload. <laughs> Let's change that again to make that possible. Because instead of changing the outliers... They changed the entire game. And do you know what they did with Behemoth and with Stasis subclasses? They did not change the outliers. They changed the entire mechanics of these subclasses to be worse. They made these subclasses significantly worse than they have ever been. And that's not what we were asking for. We were asking for more supers. But here we are. I don't know when I'll make more content that I will actually enjoy. Because Behemoth is no longer worth using. Bungie has to make changes, just like they did with Checkmate, but there's only 0.8% of us out there that will vouch. And believe me, I don't think changes are happening. We'll see. We will see. I hope you guys have been enjoying the final shape, if you've even been able to play. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't. I don't usually ask people to subscribe, and I'm not today, because I honestly don't know the next time that I'll make a video, let alone a video that I can get down behind, because I'm in a good state, enjoying the game, finding interesting things that aren't yet known. There's plenty of it. At least I thought there was. And then today came, and most of that is absolutely ruined. So we'll see when the next time I make a cool video... Because I am a cool guy. I'm not a cool guy, but I am a cool guy. I use stasis. But who knows how much more stasis I'll be using. I'll catch you guys in the next one.